fire focus. looking pretty good and I can do this too or I can do that that's even better that way you get a wide field of view got on a 20 millimeter 1.8 Nikon CS lens but it gets kind of hot so it lays on the floor she likes to lay on soft things. And here I am. I'm going to talk about Canon. Canon R6. This bad boy. And I took it out earlier. And I used uh, two lenses. I used the 85mm f1.8. No, it's an F2. I think it's a macro also. And then I also took the uh, 100 to 400. Got to try those on a full frame lens, or I mean camera, just to see how it works. So let me show you some pictures. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to my preview. Expand it. And then I'm going to come back right over here. Because you're viewing me on the R6. So this camera took these pictures. And share. There we go. So you see me in the corner of the R6. This is my crepe myrtle. Okay, uh, it's finally blooming. It's the smallest of the three trees. So I've been giving it some living and care. You can see where the deer or insects have eaten part of the leaves off, but it's coming back to life. Beautiful pink flowers, okay? And I, yes. So here's the next picture, and you can see the bokeh in the back. It's excellent, but I got a close-up of kind of like a dead branch part, or where it was eaten, and then where the flowers have survived off of that branch. So I think that's kind of neat. There's a, another shot. You can see where they're ready to bloom. But anyway, what do you think of that? Isn't that something? Oh, messed up. I wanted to show you that. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, and I could do the plus. Nope, won't let me do it. I got it kind of like on a slideshow or anything. So let's go to the next one. So you can see where they bloom and where some are ready to bloom. And I think it's fascinating. Now this is kind of like a, in the shade. So it's not very good. These are all files, by the way. But that's a better shot. So you can see the sky in the background. I forget how I was... I think it's from the ditch in the road or whatever. But look at the colors. It's just gorgeous. So what I would say... This, is, this part is in focus, and then as it goes 
with the flowers in the back, they become vulcanized. So I, I think that's a pretty shot with an 85 millimeter. You can see the little um, technicals is what I call it coming out. Beautiful crepe myrtle. I got a white one and then another pink one that hasn't bloomed yet. But I've been doing some loving care to that too. And here's where you have different shots. You know, I think from the one to 400. No, not yet. Not yet. So this is my other crepe myrtle. You can see how huge it is. But it'll have white flowers within about a week. They usually bloom in June for some reason. All the other trees have bloomed. Except for mine. And I just haven't been had time to water it. So I've been watering it pretty good now. And now the buds are starting to grow. You know, for the flowers. That would be a beautiful tree. And here's a portrait shot. You can see the little branches coming up from the uh, bottom, they're going to bud first. This is uh, the bird bath, and these are different focal lengths. Okay, so now, I think I was trying to get that in focus, and I got the leaves in focus. And then you can see they're starting to bud. Those are white flowers, by the way, on the crepe myrtle. And I'm in the big white crepe myrtle trying to get that one in focus, but you can see how the branches kind of got in the way. And here's another shot of the tree. I think I had the one to 400 now. And I'm trying different focal lengths. What do you think? I think they're excellent. So you start off the smallest. Yeah. Start off with the smallest. And then I think it goes from uh, 100 to 135 to 200, 300, 400. Yep. And that was the last of the 50 millimeter right there. And the bird bath. Same thing. Get closer, closer. And that's with the long lens. And last shot is, again, all these uh, roof people says, hey, we'll do your roof. So I've seen Holden's work in this neighborhood, and then I've seen um, Rhino, too. And on that preview, I will close it down. And then I'll move my cursor back here to the JPEGs. So, what I was doing, and let's see, preview. Move this over here. Make it full screen. Same thing, okay? But these are all JPEGs, they're not raw. So you can see the quality, not as good as raw, but still, it's okay. And these files are about from, I think the biggest one is like 12.8 megabytes. They're averaging about five megabytes. Raw files are much bigger. But, you know, you get some good pictures out of it. So these are the same pictures before, but they're only JPEG. Okay? Not as good as the raw, 
but we get all those seeds ready to pop out and have all beautiful flowers. And hopefully I'll get some hummingbirds and I'll take some pictures of those because I have the R6 now. I got the R7, but I never see any hummingbirds around there. But I would think that the crepe myrtles would attract them. I know they attract bees. And of course, you know, the bird bath. And last but not least, that. And I'll just leave that. Go back here. Leave that. Look at that shot. That's my desktop right there. And. see the puppies sleeping again. They like being in this room next to me. ZFC. Z30. And uh, it's not overheating now because I got it in the ceiling. But I got the ceiling fan on. It's keeping the camera cool. So there is a use for the Z30. It's my overhead camera. No time limit also on that thing. And of course there's uh, this right here. But I am going back to the camera. And here I am. Canon R6, welcome, welcome to my studio. So I got one for Canon cameras, which is in the bedroom with my iMac 2017. This will probably go there. And then I have the R10, R50, and the R7 there also. And uh, I usually have the ZB-10, you know, in the car. I have all the lenses, APS-C lenses and stuff, so I love to take my Nikon uh, ZFC, and that's a killer too. Never overheats. All the dials on it, love it. So now I'm going to be working with this Canon R6. Try it out. Try it out the Z62, Z72. I love those cameras. Now I'm going to try out the uh, R6. And just to let you know, I'm going back to my Z5 and share the love with that series on the Z5. So that also has uh, two SD cards. It's not as fast as this one, but still a great camera. And uh, Nikon is going to come out with either a killer APS-C. Some think it's going to be the Z90 or the Z80. You never know. Or the Z52. Or what I think, and I Chuck, I'm sorry, from AVP Studios, but I think it's going to be the ZF. The retro ZFC, only in a full frame. That's my opinion. So, anyhow, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any comments or questions, put in the comments down below this video. And uh, like I said, thank you for watching. And remember, stay safe, keep smiling. And until next time, I'll see you then. Goodbye.